Today we are in Garden Valley, Idaho, once again at the Aurora House. This is an A-frame. It is gorgeous. We're only about 10 minutes outside of the small town of Crouch, I believe is what it is. And there is a great coffee shop there called The Mudroom. Good coffee. I enjoyed my time staying there, but we're going to be spending our time here at the Roar House in today's video and giving you guys a tour of this place. So whenever you pull up onto the property, there is beautiful trees all the way around. You can see that there is a ton of snow here. It's all plowed, and I really like the detail of the piled up snow on the side of this A-frame. It looks like this A-frame is just tucked in the snow, but this A-frame right here is huge. You can see the windows all on the front side. I love the wood. There's a deck on the front as well with some seating options in a grill. I'm sure it's great for those summer months and then I just love the side detail as well. It's not just an A-frame. There's more to it if we look to the side and this just gives it a really cool distinct look. So this is the Roar House A-frame here in Idaho. So it's a little chilly. Let's head inside and check out what's in there. Whenever you walk inside, this is a pretty large A-frame. It's all open in here and it's bright thanks to the windows and just the bright color palette of white and black and the wood details all the way around. So this place has two bedrooms and two bathrooms as well. Perfect for a family or a couple friends getaway if you're coming here to whitewater raft or ski or explore or whatever you're here for. Perfect size. So this first space is the living room and it's open all the way to the ceiling. This right side has a dining table. It's beautiful wood dining table. You can see all of your guests here. And then on the other side is your living room space. Generously sized living room. Two white chairs here in the front of the windows. And then you got your large leather couch over here with a coffee table in front. This couch is a lot more deep than a normal couch, which I like for sitting and for just laying down and being comfortable. It's great. And then the best part of this living room space is the fireplace over here they have the wood underneath it and they have everything you need to start it right up for these cold months you can get cozy with the fire going right here read one of the books they have drink some coffee that they provide for you and just really enjoy your time looking out into the beautiful greenery and nature and snow out these windows uh, from this fireplace so that's a really nice touch behind this couch is where all the board games are at this place has a lot of board games to choose from perfect because who doesn't like playing board games and a snowy evening inside. I, I don't know who wouldn't like that. And they got a lot to choose from back here. So great living room space. Now back behind this underneath uh, the upstairs, we'll get to that in a second, is your kitchen space. You've got the island right here in the middle with your sink and all of your appliances up against this wall and your countertop. You can see this is where your coffee is at as well. And they also have a pantry in this kitchen, which is pretty unusual in these Airbnbs. It's right behind this sliding door and they got a bunch of extra stuff here for you. It's where I kept my groceries and it's nice to have that extra pantry space in here. Now the stairs are also off of this kitchen space, but we'll save that for later. Let's walk back into this hallway and this is where your first bedroom and bathroom is at. This right side is the bathroom space and there is your tiled shower on the left right here and then your vanity on the right side. Beautiful vanity really funky blue uh, tile on the ground so this is the bathroom that will complement the bedroom that is across the hallway if we walk over there this is your first bedroom space bed on this right side 
and your nightstand and the TV in here. This is the only TV in the house. So if you get this bedroom, you'll be able to watch movies in bed, which is pretty nice. And then also in this bedroom is a walk-in closet. If you slide open this door, this is a huge closet. It has your washer and dryer in here as well, actually. So it's nice to provide that. And there's a lot of space to put all of your luggage and clothes in here, which is great. Now, also on this bottom floor, if you walk out of here, is a door that leads out to your back patio space. But I didn't spend any time out here because it's covered in snow, but there's a couple seating options out here and just some more views of the trees. Also back here, I just saw these deer. There's two deer walking not even 15 feet away from me, and they were here for like an hour, which is really cool to capture. Here's some footage of that, of them eating, of them staring at me. A lot of wildlife here. Now heading back into the kitchen, we can head upstairs. Up these steps, which are carpeted, and the entire upstairs is carpeted as well. I like that touch because most places have just concrete or hardwood flooring these days, which is great, but to get that cozy feeling, carpet really sets in the tone for up here. So walk up here, and up here is another hangout space. There's a couch, a chair here, and we can overlook the balcony into your living space downstairs. Great views of the windows. And then off of this is your other bedroom and bathroom. This is where I stayed at. I like it better than the ones downstairs. I'll show you why. We walk into this bathroom, and it is just gorgeous. It is bright. I love the tiled shower with the tub, the gold accents for the faucet and the shower head. And they even have the window in the shower for some nice additional lighting in here. Then of course your toilet and then your vanity over here on this left side as well. But just a nice comfortable bathroom. I liked it. And then now we will enter into the bedroom space. Carpeted. It's great. The bed on this right side with some nice moody light stands on both sides. And then you get the windows up here because we're at the point of the A-frame now. So pretty unique windows and this bedroom just felt pretty cozy to sleep in. There's also a closet in here as well if you need to put your luggage or clothes. Not as big as the one downstairs but a closet is nice to have. So that's the tour of the A-frame cabin. Uh, there are a lot of hot springs close by if you're interested in that. Where I'm from, Ohio, there's no such thing as a hot spring anywhere so you'd have to come out west and from my understanding there is a lot of them in idaho so when you come here you got to experience one of those there's some within an hour's drive there's one that's like 20 or 30 minutes away which is pretty cool or if you're not doing that this place is really popular for uh, whitewater rafting especially in the summer so if you're checking out this video right now and i'm uploading it i'm sure summer dates are very very readily available for you to come stay at and experience the nice weather here in the summer and do a lot of act outdoor activities while you stay here. The booking link is down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week in another Airbnb tour.